like what you see here. So I'm using a Mac and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tools, labels. Here's my label and here I can, right now this is Avery Standard 5262. If I want to use a different label making, I can go ahead and click on, on options and look for the number. I think right now we're looking for 83 two eight three two zero but I don't think it's uh, eight three two zero nope there is no eight three two zero but so you're gonna go ahead and uh, press that let me see if there's another one here are other ones this is pinnacle which is not here that's okay Anyways, so you can press OK, and then, then you write your address here. And if you want to fill the page with the same label, you can do that. Or if you want to do a single label. Or if you want to mail merge, you're going to click that and link to um, your your uh, Excel thing. So then you can choose the font here, you can use my address or whatever, uh, and then you press OK, and then boom, it makes the labels with what you have on there. So woohoo! There you go, and then you can uh, insert an image if you need to. Insert a picture from file, and then you can choose. Um, a logo. There you go. And you can put it in there. Um, oh, once you choose a logo, say, or you choose an image that you want to put in there, right? So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, it's outside. Choose this logo. And I put it in there. But now I want my text to come out next to it. So I'm going to go ahead and right click or control click. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Format Picture. And now, with my Format Picture, I can tell it to... No, it's not tell. Oh, Layout. I'm going to go to Layout. And I'm going to go to... Uh, we want text. You see those gray lines? We want the text to, to surround it. So I'm going to press that. And so the, now that it's there, then I can continue writing. Yay! That's how you do it.